today I am in bed because I'm feeling very lazy today and uh, yeah maybe I'm feeling a little bit blue. So today I've been having quite a lazy day. I've been reflecting a lot about the last year or so. It was just so weird for me to think about where I was this time last year and obviously everyone was in a really weird place this time last year. Coronavirus! I was just yeah, reflecting with one of my friends about the first lockdown and just how crazy it was. Can you see it? No. <laughs> and how... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It was just a really weird time and I was going through some videos and photos that I took off my housemates and I during the first lockdown. Uh, we had so much fun. We were just chilling, cooking together, dancing. It was so much fun, but I look back now and realize as well, it was probably one of the hardest couple of months for me. And I was the lowest I've ever been. It was really overwhelming, I think, to kind of look back at that and realize I was really, really unhappy. And like, here I am a year later and Everything's going fine. I'm in a really good place and I have been in a really good place for the last couple of months but that's just been really overwhelming at the same time uh, which sounds really ungrateful but I just I don't know if anyone else feels like that after they've gone through like a period of just really really sad times or bad times and oh, I don't know I don't know why I'm talking about this. I've had some really difficult conversations this week but difficult in a in a good way a lot of weird things have happened over the last couple of months i'm kind of glad that i've had those experiences i see the value in the negative experiences i had i'm really grateful that i've had the friends and family that have supported me ultimately yeah i do feel really happy i don't know why this feels like such a sad vibe at the minute it feels weird to be happy I almost don't trust it. It's almost like it's too good to be true. I'm trying not to think about it too much and actually realise that it's okay to be happy and like it's okay that things are okay. I guess this is just a reminder that it's good to check in on yourself, see how you're doing. Anyways, today I'm just having a lazy day. Having a me day. Gonna be doing a few things around the flat. <laughs> So whilst I've finished all my big medical school exams, I still have some small assessments that I need to complete. One of them is an exercise about documentation. We've been given a simulated clinical scenario about a patient that is going to need a blood transfusion. What we're required to do is fill out the relevant paperwork. So what I need to do is download the forms, have a look at the scenario and the fake patient details uh, and fill out the form correctly as if it was a real patient and then send it back to my teacher for assessment. But yeah, I'm gonna do that now. <sighs> Diet Coke, all of the fun, none of the guilt. I'll make a Zoom meeting because that'll be easier. I'm titling it, 
John Tucker might die because I don't know if he does or not. I've not seen this movie. So for dinner, I am making pesto pasta and I think that whenever I vlog, I always seem to be eating pesto pasta that day. And I think it's just because it's a really easy thing to do, but also because I'm a basic student. I'm currently boiling the pasta and some broccoli and I'm just chopping up a cooked chicken breast just to add to it. Also, I've got a tomato left that I need to use, so I thought I might just chop that up and shove that in there. Yeah, today's been quite a nice day. This evening, I'm gonna be doing a virtual movie night. I'm watching John Tucker Must Die. I've never actually seen this movie before, and when I told my friends that, they were like, we need to watch that. So that's what we're doing today. So I mentioned a few times that I've been watching Desperate Housewives, so, Excited to see Jesse. Hey Jesse, ooh, it feels like a party every day. Hey Jesse. I'm just making the Zoom meeting. Okay. I'm literally calling the Zoom meeting. John Tucker might die. So I've just finished watching John Tucker and catching up with my friends. Uh, we had a little bit of a Mario Kart break in the middle, which was good fun. So yeah, John Tucker was pretty fun, pretty good movie. There was definitely some questionable dialogue that just probably wouldn't be in movies these days. I want to give a shout out to the costume department that was working on this movie because Ashanti's outfits were hilarious hey jesse Ooh. me and my friends were just <laughs> screaming but i guess if we were teenagers in early 2000s we probably would have dressed the same also great soundtrack I had all american rejects in there another throwback to the early noughties i just thought it was a really funny wacky movie and it was also really nice to catch up with my friends as well i just don't think movies these days really give that same kind of energy. A lot of big movies, you know, in the cinema these days are remakes or reboots. But I guess, yeah, there probably is something out there on Netflix that I haven't found yet that gives me the same energy as an early 2000s movie, but I haven't found it yet. So if you do have any recommendations for anything that has those wacky vibes, uh, yeah, let me know. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, I just had a really nice relaxing day. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the cosy vibes. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, then yeah, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want. You don't have to. Would be nice. Um, but yes, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.